Hey guys, my name is Mrs. Sorbin. I'm the math teacher here on Team 6-4 at Ben Franklin Middle School. I'm excited to meet each and every one of you. I hope you've had a wonderful summer, as I know I have. But it's time for school to start, and I'm really excited to meet all of you and get to know you throughout the course of this year. I just wanted to introduce myself, let you know a little bit about me, and uh, say welcome to the school year. So here goes. Like I said, my name is Mrs. Sorby. I teach math and language arts on Team 6-4. I have three kids, a daughter who's going to be a seventh grader, and two sons, one which will be a fifth grader, and the other one will be a second grader in Moorhead. My husband farms. We live on the farm just north of town. However, we don't have any animals unless you count my dog, Millie, or my cat, Louie. Um, I'm sure you'll hear lots about them this year as I tend to tell lots of stories about what's happening with them. Um, some of the things that I enjoy, I really like watching sports and playing sports, cheering for sports. I love UND sports especially. I love UND hockey. It's one of my favorite things. Um, but in general, I just like all kinds of sports, whether it's baseball, softball, soccer, hockey, basketball, football, uh, you name it. I probably watch it. Uh, I also love to travel. My husband and I traveled to New York just this past summer and had a wonderful time exploring the city and trying all sorts of new things and places in New York City this year. I try to travel as often as I can, which isn't all that often, but uh, it is something that I really enjoy. I also really like to read. I always have some kind of book or or two or more going on. I listen to them on my iPod and in my car. I read them whenever I can and I like all kinds of different books. One of my favorites that I happened to read this past year is called The Prisoner of Cell 25 about a character named Michael Vey. And uh, I'm sure I'll probably talk with many of you about that this year as well. Um, another thing I like to do, I like to watch movies. I like to go to movies and sit in the dark and watch them on a big screen. I like all kinds of movies. I don't think I could narrow it down as to what my favorite one is, but I do like to watch movies. And another one of my simple pleasures is coffee. I love coffee. I love iced coffee. I love hot coffee. It doesn't matter. I love to drink coffee. Uh, my favorite store is probably Target if I had to pick a favorite store. Uh, my favorite color is probably green and uh, those are just a few little things about me. Nothing too big or exciting but I just wanted to give you a, a heads up on on who I am and who you're going to be seeing every day when you come to your math class. I do, however, have a couple questions for you. I would like to know what's your favorite book or one of your favorite books if you can't narrow it down. Um, it doesn't have to be the last one you read. You don't have to be a big reader in order to have a favorite book, but I would like to know what's one of your favorite books. I would also like to know what one of your favorite movies is. I know I couldn't name it just one, so if you want to tell me one or two of the ones that you really enjoy or ones that you could watch over and over again that you um, really like. And then I also just want to know a little bit about yourself. What are, what are some of your likes? What are some of your dislikes? Um, tell me about your family. Do you have any dogs or cats or brothers or sisters? Um, I just want to get to know you. You'll notice that things are going to be a little bit different this year, not only just because you're at a middle school, but in math class we're going to try something different called flipping the classroom, where you're going to be watching videos, not quite like this every day, but math videos, and then you're going to be working on what it was typically your homework, you will be working on it in class. That way, if you have um, questions or if you run into some roadblocks you don't have to sit frustrated trying to figure out at home and uh, worried about not getting your assignment completed while you're at home you'll do it in class and I can help you out if you're doing just fine then you can just sail right through it but if you need a little extra help then we'll work on it right there I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, when we're in class but um, 
for now, that's it. That's all about me. I hope that uh, I'll see you on the first day of school and uh, we'll have a fabulous year.